everybody. Happy New Year's from me to you. And I already know what you're thinking. Wizwar, isn't the New Year's already over? Why are you celebrating it? Well, I'll tell you. Well now, for those of you who aren't aware or live under a rock, I'm not celebrating the worldwide New Year's. I'm celebrating the Chinese New Year. Yes, that event that takes place in February according to the American calendar, which you may think that's kind of weird, but hey, right back at you, buddy. Well, being a guy that's Chinese, Vietnamese, Canadian, and one-eighth black, I'm kind of obligated to celebrate this year of the Ram, which is my year, by receiving tons of red envelopes from friends and family. Hashtag, they're all empty. Now you're probably wondering, what does this have to do with video games? Well, if you haven't already read the title, I'm gonna tell you. I'm gonna be reviewing the Disney Mulan game. Because it's the only thing I could find that could relate to Chinese New Year's. Yeah. Speaking of only game, I don't think there are any other Mulan games that are actually video games. From what I've seen of the other games, they are the storybook interactive type of games where you basically go through the movie. Nothing wrong with that, but it's just not what you would really call a game back then. At least not in the traditional sense. Much like how people argue about the Stanley Parable not being a video game when I would consider it an interactive game. But save that for some other comment section elsewhere for you to go on about. We're here to check out the game. Okay, so I discovered a little something afterwards which involves the back cover of the game, so let's take a look. Hours of action-packed gameplay! Action-packed, sure, but hours of it? This game is only six levels long and they don't even take that long to beat either. Many of your favorite characters from the movie! Yeah, I like about four of them. Mulan, Shang, Shan Yu, and the Emperor. I don't know where Mushu or the Three Stooges are. Oh, wait, they showed up in the swimming level, presumably. Diverse gameplay including battles, swimming, and shield boarding. Oh jeez, the shield boarding. Well, they weren't lying about that. A password system to save your progress. Save your progress? What? The passwords don't save Jack, they're just level select passwords. Now if you play this game on the Super Game Boy, you're supposed to have a custom border which I edited in, colors, and music that's basically an enhanced version of what you'd normally hear. Which sucks because it's kind of a cool rendition to listen to as you play. But since this is my 58 games in one card, it won't do that, much like the other games included in this card. This game is short having only 6 levels and it follows the story from when Mulan joins the camp to fight the Huns. Level 1 is the training section from the movie, presumably, and you don't hear any Game Boy rendition of Make a Man out of you, as you go through an obstacle course, figuring out the somewhat stiff controls, and finding out you have an infinite amount of balls or something to throw at boards. Hey, I thought I was training to fight Huns, shouldn't I be practicing my Kung Fu? What? Throwing stones is enough? What about that sword Mulan stole from his father? Aren't I gonna use that? Well, I guess throughout the game you're just gonna have to throw things like Kung Pao Chicken Batman throws Kung Pao Rice at his enemies. Anyways, this level is self-explanatory and ends with that scene where Mulan grabs the arrow from the top of the wooden tower. But not before murdering Shang by stoning him to death. Jeez, look at how high he must be falling from. I think I just killed our leader. Mortal Kombat stage fatality, man. Victory. Fatality. Next stage is the bath scene, and it's not what you think it would be. It's an auto-scrolling swimming level where you're trying to avoid being discovered by the Three Stooges who apparently either have several brothers, or someone got lazy and just copy-pasted them all. What the heck is happening when Mulan crashes into one of them? They explode, that's what. But I'm sure you know what it is. This stage actually has a difficult part in it where I kept failing for the longest time as a kid. Because you have to navigate from one end of the lake to the other side, avoiding obstacles in addition to the Three Stooges, and get out undiscovered. Wait, why didn't I just get out from where I started? And on that note, why did Mulan swim so far to take a bath? 
Eh, whatever, you can dodge the three stooges by diving underwater, which only lasts for a few seconds, and the reason I say this level has a difficulty curve is because at one point there's this really tight turn you have to make, and as a kid, I always fudging died here, but once you're past that, the rest of the game should be no problem. In fact, why would you ever make a stage like this to play? The third level jumps us to the avalanche scene where we have to snowboard our way to safety. Wait, I haven't seen the movie in a while, but I certainly don't remember her snowboarding on whatever that is. Is that a shield or something? But you couldn't have thrown us a minigame where we fired rockets at the Huns? You know, because it could have been fun. Well, this level isn't too difficult, but it is easy to screw up and die. Kind of reminds me of the Surf City level from Battletoads, except you can jump. The last part you save Shang and have to make a jump onto this rope and- What the fudge? I grabbed it! <laughs> Oh, come on, you gotta be kidding me! Oh, come on, I did not hit that! Oh, pancakes, no fudging way! You know what? I don't even know what hit me. Actually, why are there holes in this level? Oh, God, that counted? No, no fudging, fudging way. way! Mother Ducker! Apparently playing this level on hard actually does make it a lot harder, but in a very subtle way. Oh, come on! Grab the rope! Actually, where's the rope hanging from? Oh yeah, your hearts are not only your health, but your lives too. Really now? I should mention every time you beat a level, you do get a password to get back to that level, and if you didn't write it down or something, you're stuck with playing the game all over again. Now, if you didn't fail to grab the rope, which you're supposed to hold the jump button to do, you do reach the scene where Mulan's identity gets discovered and- Ah! It's Mulan the Grudge! Seriously, what's wrong with your face? And what's up with the music that plays every time at the objective screen? Kind of creepy. Can you imagine seeing this as a kid on the Game Boy up close to your face? Not sure if my Game Boy would have survived whatever happened afterwards. <laughs> Well, now you're trying to descend down the mountain as you avoid the Huns, which I guess some of them survived the avalanche, and throwing stones doesn't do much other than stunning them. It takes a while, especially with the somewhat stiff controls, but you'll eventually figure out how to get down the mountain safely. Just don't fall too far off or you're gonna die. Alright, second to last level. We're trying to get into the palace through the city where apparently more Huns are stationed around. Why is nobody doing anything about them? Where are the city guards? How are the Huns strolling around freely? Well, every cardboard cutout on the street kind of has this horrified look on them, so paralyzed in fear. Anyways, this level does take a while, and I'm pretty sure playing it on hard changes the level slightly, as I recall this level being easier. Finally, we're at the final level, and everything is leading up to this. There's a special thing we have to do in this level, and that is to collect fireworks to throw at Shan Yu. So we search around the palace, which apparently has them laying around everywhere, and oh yeah, that's pretty safe, leaving fireworks out in the open. Well, it's probably safer than the Huns roaming around. Where are the stairs anyways? You're telling me everyone in this palace has to jump and climb to get anywhere? Well, you try to collect the fireworks and use as little of them as possible against the Huns that get in your way, and nobody ever dies or gets killed in this game except Shan Yu. When you've collected at least six fireworks and make your way to the top to face Shan Yu, you start throwing it at him to knock him into the corner. But what I do is to try and lure him close enough to the fireworks and then light him up. Dude, his head just inflated like a blow-up doll. Once you do that, the game's over. Shan Yu is dead, you save China from the Huns, read some epilogue while a girl we're fighting for plays. Wait, you were able to make a girl we're fighting for, but not make a man out of you? Really now, what the fudge? You probably had the space for it with the game being so short. At least give us some good music to listen to, but hey, what do I know? But that's pretty much it. It was an alright game that followed the movie. The only reason you would ever have this game is for the Super Game Boy functions, which are kind of neat. Well, that was pretty underwhelming for a game to review for Chinese New Year, but hey, it'll do. I hope you guys were entertained by it and I hope you enjoyed it. This is Wizwar100, you're the viewers and I'm the reviewer, so stay tuned for more. What did you guys think of Mulan for the Game Boy?
Hey guys, thanks for watching and I hope you enjoyed the video. If you want more than you can see here, be sure to check out my Facebook and Twitter for updates on reviews and videos. And if you want to help me out, I have a Patreon account. And if you haven't already done so, subscribe to my YouTube channel and join my Lazy Work Legion for more video game content for you to watch. Such as the videos I'm showcasing right now. Be sure to give a like and comment for feedback and check out my site LazyWorks Creations and River City Gamers for more content like mine. Links to all that goodness is right in the description or click the annotations if you're watching on YouTube. Yeah, 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 go and hate fat choy.